So here's the tools of the trade for getting, uh, changing tires. And once again, it does get more complicated, but this is about the basics. And with this, you can do just about everything. The biggest thing is that you can pick them up at uh, quick change oil places. They get their drums like this one's pens oil. And then what you do is I just take, you could take radiator hose or I just took a garden hose wrapped it around it and then that's my garbage can and then I can put stuff on top of it and that just works out great also as a table you can put convert it to anything and then over here obviously the tire irons and I can never say tire irons right but these are typical but a, a friend of mine an old timer taught me this one you grind a notch in the end and that goes when you're have a difficult tire or you don't want to uh, pinch a tube with the, the curvy end you just put that just on a grinder and I just put it on my wheeled grinder that has like the grinder and then the brush on the side and just do a notch and what that does is it slips onto the um, like right over here it would slip right there so just barely enough to get the tire on and then this is a tire valve remover. The metal ones are the best ones. These come usually with tubes. They're only good for a couple of times. But this is the winner. This is the one I give as gifts. And this is used to pull um, trader valves like in car tires. So it's super tough. And then that side lets out air. And then this side takes out the air valve. And then this is indispensable too. It's a third hand from Motion Pro. And that, and that showed in the video, hooks on to the, basically, let's see here, hooks on like this and holds the, the tube down. And then for, uh, if you're weirded out with your rims, especially the black rims that come with a lot of bikes or you don't want to scratch, which a lot of times I just use tape if I'm paranoid, but these are rim protectors that I just added string because I don't want to lose them. And these just wrap like that and then you, that's where you take your bites so you don't scratch your rims so there's a little overall thing so i've always wanted to do one of these little tutorials and we're going to just do it on a street bike tire so this is off my uh, honda cl 125 first thing you want to do and i'll show you the tools later is this is your friend from napa and what i did is i took the tire valve out of the stem, lets all the air out, and then you want to break the bead, and typically a street bike tire, the bead will be broken pretty pretty easily, or what I do is I use a, a oil can that for uh, changing my tires. You can also take your knee and break the bead, and also you can take your trusty tire iron. So you're going to have two of these. I like them long. Um, the kind that I carry on the bikes, there's my uh, tool, my fender pack, are these little shorty ones, but these give you leverage. So that's what you want in your home. So basically, take the hook end, get it down, and this bead is pretty soft. What I do is I spray WD-40 and every tire guy will tell you you shouldn't do that but you use whatever you got. You can use soapy water but I just use whatever I got. So you just do the first bite. Take a little bite next right there and usually this will just hold and then you just take small bites right there so you can hold this down small bite small bite and then you can do bigger bites here so there's two ways to take the inner tube out the first way I do is if the tire valve is kind of popped in you can take one of the tie irons push that in and if it's not coming out easy what you do Flip it over, do the same thing. So you're taking the tire off on both sides.
and that tube is still in there. And it comes off, and you see, I don't know if you see that there's a width there, so what you can do is the tire valve is right here, so you can flip it upside down like that, usually on the ground, but you see you got that, and then you just peel the tire off just like that. And in this case, it doesn't matter if you do it that way or this way. Take the tube out, put the tire valve back in, and usually you can have a pump, but what I do is I'll just put a little bit of air in with my mouth to kind of give it form, because it's easier to put in on a new tire. I used to work at a motorcycle shop basically cleaning toilets and changing tires. And the boss used to come out and for fun, even though I think he was serious, he'd yell, God damn it, flat rate, flat rate. So basically you were supposed to be able to change a tire in 15 minutes. That meant he was charging 30 bucks to change a tire. He was paying me about five or six dollars an hour. And if I did four an hour, there's some profit for the dealer. So that's how dealers make a profit. So now I gotta figure out where I put the tires. So here's a new front tire. And I don't know what kind it is. Oh, it's a Shinko. That's your most economical tire. So same thing here. It's not. You check if it's directional, and usually these older tires aren't. Spray some WD-40. And I've changed tires when it's 20 below, and heat is your friend. So you can let these things sit outside, and then to put it back on, I just use leverage. So I hold it with my my leg, and it should just push right over without even any tire irons. These are totally simple. The um, thicker carcass, like this street bike tire is for a, for a normal street bike tire. This carcass is pretty stiff, but this is the best example of starting small, and then you kind of learn how to change these things. Now here's the trick you never see. And I learned this because I use heavy-duty tubes on all my uh, off-road bikes, and they're a bitch to get the, the um, inner tube in. So right now the hole is right here, so I can turn it right there. And what I do is I put the tube in directly across. You don't have to be careful because you can move the tire. And that's why I like a little bit of air in the tire, because then you can do this pretty easy. So you put this in, and then you can turn this, that'll line up with the hole. And here's the trick, hopefully I'm in frame. You take a tire iron on the opposite side, just do that, lay it down, and what it does, turn like this, is it makes it possible to get your fingers underneath the tire and then you just should just got plenty of room and this is the hardest part about changing the tire and there we go there's the tire and uh, grab a nut Put it on there because don't want that uh, to go back in the tire. You just barely put it on. Right there. And then you take this tire back off. And then the beauty of putting a little bit of air in, you can double check that it's not hanging up anywhere. And you can see where 
the tire turns and the tube the tube you want to go in so in this case it's hanging up a little so right there so you want to make sure that your valve is going up and down and then the other thing that's indispensable is this little tool for motion pro and what it does is it's basically a third hand when I'm changing tires on the trail if it's tough I have a pair of vice grips to do this job but kind of does a number on your rim so this just hooks on right there it hooks on to the spoke and you should be able to just use use your weight and this is why I like changing tires on this old oil drum and you get them anywhere at the quick change places they use these and then I put a piece of garden hose to protect the spokes so you can get it that far and then I'll show it to you later but I modify the tire irons with a little notch on this side because then you're not going to pinch the tube where when you're using these smaller tubes this little curved thing can pinch it sometimes and pinching means that you hit the tube it hits a piece of metal and it causes uh, a hole in the tube and you got to you got to patch it so same thing here and it's all about keeping the bead down this tire is a great example you just keep the bead down and then the rest boom so now this tire is installed make sure that Schrader valve is straight and I haven't checked my air but and then uh, it doesn't take a lot to get it on the bead and the WD-40 makes it slide but once again you can use soapy water you can use the correct kind of liquid that tire shops use, but I just use whatever I have on hand. And it teaches you also when you're on the road and you don't have those things, it teaches you to be able to change a tire with just the minimum. Which when you're using those little dinky tire irons, and then once again instead of this tool, Instead of this tool, you have one of, you know, these valve core removers. You have that sitting on your, or you have that on your uh, tire. So these work once or twice. These plastic ones suck. The metal ones are super cool. They're period correct for vintage bikes. I don't know how long this took. I got a guy yelling flat rate in my head. But there's the tire installed, ready to go. And when it's my own stuff, I always check the spokes. I'll run sandpaper on the on the uh, brake shoes, and I also run sandpaper on the inside of poor man's little home, and then that way you know you're safe because it's your tires. This is the only thing that keeps you alive. The old one, these were the original, and uh, the bike is from 1967, so it took uh, 53 years to change these tires. And when you got a fat boy like me, you need one of these tires. So there's your quick tire change tutorial.